Hey guys, what's up? Today I have a PU battle. This one is against Oscar Bot, and uh, he basically hosted a sort of any tier, kind of like what I usually do. And I was hosting one too, and I'm just like, Ugh, let's go to him. And I'm like, let's do PU. And he's like, uh, okay. And then like five minutes later, he was like, I don't know what that tier is. And I was like, well, here's a link to the list that I use, basically. Uh, and then he ended up picking his things really fast, so I'm like, alright. Um, like, literally, I was like halfway through my team selection, I showed him the link, and then he finished before I did. And I was like, okay. Um, so yeah, this team he picked is a little weird, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you right from the outset, it's it's kind of weird. So, Electabuzz lead, Scarfed, going to go for the Volt Switch, because he has no ground type, so might as well. I'm going to go to Ponyard, I figure he use mine has Return... Toxic, Knock Off, Stealth Rock, Recover, things like that. So I figure I can go to Sword Stance. He goes for the Unprotected Focus Punch and smacks me right in the face. And I am not happy about that because that means that I'm going to die because I'm quad weak to it. And that's just like... Well, shit. <laughs> like... I literally, like I was talking to actually Brandon about it and he was like... Yeah, that's the moment where you're just like, good game, like... I, I concede kind of thing, and I'm like, not quite, but I'm like, wow, that was like, wow. Um, but now that I know he has Focus Punch and probably Return and Sucker Punch, I'm going to go to Golbat and basically start cursing on him. He's going to lick me, and I'm like, I have never seen lick in a competitive battle. So I'm like, I don't want to sit around here and get paralyzed, uh, which is exactly what he does here. He crit paralyzes me. Um... After I go for the Brave Bird, I could have probably went for the Payback, but it wouldn't have done as much as Brave Bird. Oh, by a little bit. I probably should have went for Payback and then Brave Bird just for the recoil's sake. But I go for it again. He goes into his uh, Electrode. I know I can live a Thunderbolt unless he specs. So I'm going to go ahead and just Roost. Uh, he does indeed not even have Life Orb. So uh, I'm going to live that quite easily and just Roost up. And yeah. Thankfully here, he's going to go for the Charge Beam. I figured he'd want to go for the Taunt so I can't Roost and stuff. So now, I'm going to go for the Payback because I'm paralyzed, which kind of helps with Payback. But again, with my Speed Drops from Curse, um, that's why I have Payback as my second attack instead of, like, Return or something like that. I mean, I am vulnerable to Steel Types. Basically, that's what I told him. Like, if you had a Steel Type, go back would be kind of useless because, I mean, yeah, but Payback is a good second attack. Not for much, just just for synergy with Curse, basically. There's there's really no sort of type advantage, but with Golbat, there's not really another move you can have other than, like, U-Turn. I mean, look at, like, Golbat or Crowbat, other than, like, Heat Wave or something, or Air Slash. It's like, that doesn't really synergize with Curse at all. Um, so he switches into Simi Sage, gets up a sub, and goes for Nasty Plots. And, um, unfortunately, I get paralyzed a bunch of times in a row, and I finally do get to break his sub, which he's going to go for again, and I do believe I get... Fully paralyzed once again here. No, I Brave Bird. Break this up. I think he's going to sub again and I get fully paralyzed. I know he goes to plus six. Um, I'm not sure. Let's just watch and see what happens. I think... Do I get paralyzed here? I think so. Uh, nope. Okay. Well, anyways, I guess he was already at plus six or... Hmm. I'm not sure. I guess he was, yeah. Anyways, so he goes for the energy ball here. And uh, I already looked at it. You know, even a plus six... Leaf Storm from a modest Simi Sage would do like half just because I have a Violate and max special defense and HP because that's the set I'm using, uh, which is actually really working this battle. A lot of people like to use Golbat with like uh, basically a Crowbat, you know, Taunt, Roost, U Turn, Brave Bird kind of thing, like a Stall Breaker. But I'm like, nah, that's okay. Yeah, he's got 105 base speed, but I'll not use it. Or is it 95 or 100? I don't know, whatever. It's, it's pretty good considering it's PU and. And you before that. Um, but yeah, so like, unfortunately here, I didn't even think this was going to happen, but he, I don't kill his Fero, and I'm like, shit, I should, I wish I had gotten enough another curse, but, you know, again, I would have, but he was licking me, and I didn't want to get paralyzed, but I, I still did, so probably should have cursed up some more, and anyways, whatever. Um, he's not really threatening to me, because again, I do have the Violate and, you know, plus one defense, and then the max special defense with the plus one from Violate, and it's like, so I'm not really getting hurt by much... So, uh, I'm kind of fine. He goes into his Kecleon. He's going to go for the sub. Um, not really certain as to why, I guess. Because, you know, Lick and Focus Punch. Lick's like 30 base power, and Focus Punch is like, what, 37.5, I think? 
Yeah. But he goes for Fire Blast, and I'm like, what? Why do you? Oh, weird move sets. Like I said, they're 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 weird. Um, but yeah. So he goes into Ladian. I'm gonna go for the Brave Bird, but he subs, and I get fully paralyzed. I'm gonna go for the Silver Wind, which is just not gonna do any damage at all. I'm gonna get paralyzed a bunch of times. I'm basically just trying to stay up, and I realize he's trying to get Uber Boost and stuff, and he's probably gonna try and pass them. But I'm just getting fully paralyzed. Um, I think I get off a of Roost here. Uh. He does get an Uber boost, which I didn't realize at the time he actually got, which would have been nice to realize, but like I said, I didn't. So I get off a roost. I think he's going to go for the agility here as I try to break his sub, but he, I get fully paralyzed, and then he baton passes it out to his last, which is his shift tree. Uh, let's see if I'm correct on that. Yes, that is what happens. He's going to baton pass here. Uh, I'm going to go for the payback. Unfortunately, because he does have the defense boost, like I said, I didn't notice. But uh, I don't know if it would have... Well, I'm plus one, but no attack. I don't know. Maybe it would have, but it doesn't. Long story short, it doesn't. And uh, now he can threaten me, but he doesn't have sword stance. He has fake out instead, which is kind of nice, but, you know, not really a big deal-ish. Go for Brave Bird here. Going to easily break the sub, take a little bit of recoil damage. And uh, he's going to go for the Dark Gem Sucker Punch. And that is not going to kill me, but it is going to bring you down low enough to where I am going to die from the Brave Board recoil. And because of his defense boost, he's actually not going to die. So he is going to survive, and I'm going to kill myself. So Golbat was basically sweeping him, and then I ended up killing myself with recoil. Yeah, that's nice. So go to Clang. Figure, you know, there's not really much he can do to me. But he does have the Nature Power, which I was not... Like, I know Shift Trees do get it, but I was not expecting him to have it kind of thing, just because his sets were so far weird um i was thinking maybe he'd have like giga drain or something just i don't know out of out of nowhere but uh he doesn't have power i do miss gear grind i thought about going for volt switch but i'm like nah i'll just gear grind and then i end up missing and it's like fuck so go to big mate i go to meganium here uh, i'm gonna easily live a sucker punch because i'm physically defensive and go for the giga drain that's easily going to kill him and now he's got left is a lady in but i have giga drain which is quad resisted and two status moves and room therapy well leech seed and toxic not two status moves um so I know he's just going to sub and basically silver wind me to death, so I can't do that. So I'm going to switch up to Relicanth. He's going to sub a bunch of times as I waterfall a bunch of times. He uh, does get down to the point where he can't sub anymore, but he does sub again. I guess either he miscalculated or he just really, like, I don't think silver wind's going to do, like, 70% to me. And even if he does, I still have Electabuzz, which is scarfed, and uh, that's not a big deal. Although he does get an agility up, so I'm not sure if I'd be faster, but I imagine I am. So Lady and stats are really garbage, except it's like 105 base special defense or something like that. I do have a set, but it's like, what is it, like Encore, Toxic, Bug Buzz or something, and like Roost, or I, I don't know, it's it's pretty bad, I imagine. But yeah, so there's uh, the end of the battle, pretty much a Crow, or not a Crow, a Golbat sweep, and uh, then he just kind of took me out with his um, Baton Passer kind of thing, but um... All in all, it was a it was a cool match. I was glad about it. He was pretty happy about it too. You know, he wasn't upset or anything like that. I mean, it's what happens sometimes. He did have an electrode, but I just I had the special defense to uh, beat him, and I guess he didn't have a specs or life orb or anything like that. But uh, yeah, so like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the battle, and I'll see you all tomorrow.